I have a lot of weird moments as a doctor. Sometimes I just step outside my body and just see myself. I've got my finger in someone's bum. This is my job. I wish I'd known how irregular the hours were going to be, how long they were going to be. You can't really switch off. A little sleep, food and lack of time I'd have for friends and family. To be a doctor, you're going to have to sacrifice sleep and trade them hours of sleep for cups of coffee. I didn't like coffee before I was a doctor, now I love it. You spend a lot of your day not really knowing what you're doing and feeling like you're just winging it. My first crash call, I didn't know what I was going to face when I got there. I didn't know what I'd have to do. It is a very dirty job, and when I say dirty, I mean that I'll be dealing with feces, urine, blood, sputum, snot on a daily basis. My patient came in uh, with constipation, and the poor guy, he was so constipated that we had to actually remove stool from his back badges using our hands. For my second day of work ever, I had a patient who one minute was just having a cough, the next minute went straight into respiratory arrest. And I was the first doctor on the scene, I had no idea what I was doing, I had to call the crash team and my heart basically was probably beating just as fast as his. I had a patient who was bleeding out of a tube in his neck and the blood was like literally flying everywhere. And that was the scariest time because the patient was wide awake as well. Catheterizing the man, which is putting the tube up the penis to release all the urine. And basically he obviously was quite excited and enjoyed it a lot more than I did.